Good afternoon, everyone. Chinese looking for food. 50,000 cattle, drought-stricken area in Australia, Queensland. Oh, wait, when it starts to rain again, this is what's going to fill up in the basins. Unusual hail pushing out of the manholes. Scotland, EF5 water spout, Corsica. Cosmic ray is now officially at a space-age high. And my new comprehensive PDF slide presentation over an hour of detailed explanation and documentation of the rapidly approaching periods of life-changing cold we will soon experience. Hence, winter is coming. Available for all those supporting me on Patreon and Subscribestar. For the rest of you, you're going to have to buy it. Link's in the description box below. It includes a one-hour and five-minute PDF and a 112-page presentation. Starting off here, Northeast Queensland, area pinned on the map. Now what's interesting, look to the west of that and it looks like a giant lake basin. That once was an inland sea. And it's just quirky that the Chinese seem to be running around to all these places that are deserts now, just before the rainfall starts on its multi-thousand year cycle. So I would envision that this part of Northern Queensland gonna become wet again. Chinese investors back, new major meat works for Northern Queensland incredible drought right now and they're thinking about raising 50,000 head of cattle and then they include this image here for fodder where's the groundwater come from i'm sure you could drill it but i'm sure they also know the cycles that more natural rainfall from above is coming because we've seen the floods again and again and again over the last four years across australia record rains in some places so i thought i would dig in and i found this at pdf the flood inundation areas of finler's catchment the yellow circle there is where the Chinese are going to have their cattle ranching. But imagine that. If it starts to rain, look where it's going to fill. And if you head out to the eastern edge of the yellow circle, it's next to a river. Imagine free water if you knew the cycle. And if you're looking for more information on how the jet streams are undulating, how we have this equatorial vortex, the polar vortex, check out OzPolitik. Bobby over there leading the Ice Age board. Everything's linked in the description box below. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would the Chinese be running around drought-stricken northern Queensland trying to start cattle ranches when it's dry? Well, Chinese vegetable prices hit record highs. Result of persistent cold and record rains, and also the food inflation 45% this year, and it's just been nonstop. Army worm, devastation of the corn crop, the floods. Oh yeah, let me look at the floods for you here. This is what the farm fields look like in China. Very similar to what the American farm fields look like. This much flooding, denting into any types of agricultural production. And it's been like this since mid-May. And you can see where the roads were on the left slide there. Trees visibly outline the roads. But in the periphery there, that's farmland. Levees breaking, just like we see across Arkansas, in different places down the Mississippi River, Missouri specifically, and then the inundation of the cities as well. It has been non-stop rains. What I find so interesting is that one displacement number of 19.91 million people, that was from one flood alone way back in June. So that number, in my personal opinion, is way incorrect because we're talking into July now and they're going to have massive floods on top of that. Atmospheric compression events, massive hail, damaging billions in property as well as people being crushed and hit by hail and an explanation for this would be the cosmic ray increase is now at an all-time confirmed high for the space age now the conjecture is this is even higher than the late 1800s as we turned into the 1900s for the new century because at that time they were experimenting with x-rays so they had cloud chambers and they could see zips and different particles going across their screens at that time as well is it as high as, say, 1898, 1899, or 1903, somewhere in that region, even stretching back a little bit further? But whatever's happening, the increase in clouds and atmospheric vorticity or spinning winds in our atmosphere is definitely upticking. Take a look at this EF5 water spout, and we've seen the intensity of water spouts increasing year after year after year. It's just been a ramp up and an uptick. Look back four years ago and see comparatively to these slides here, how big the water spouts are now. This is back mid-July, but it fit inside this video so perfectly to show you a few other weather anomalies that didn't really make mainstream media news coverage so much, especially in Scotland. Look at this, 
pushing through the ice so much that it lift up that steel and stone manhole cover. And we saw this incredible hail down in Guadalajara. So what's happening with all this extra hail now that is starting to affect our infrastructure? And I'll bring you to a slide in the presentation I mentioned in the introduction here. Atacama Desert, the world's driest desert, blooms for the second year in a row in South America. We have biblical rains across the Middle East. Deserts are blooming across our planet. Rains are returning to grow grains in Northern Africa. Incredible changes. I talk about all of this in Winter is Coming, Cycles of Change and Transition. The link's in the description box below, and I do thank you for watching the video. I'm backing up this channel on Brighteon, the free speech platform, and I hope to see you there as well. Adapt 2030.